Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm just up here in the boat rigging up some stuff for a two day term I got this coming kind of weekend. And I thought I would do a little video here to share uh, some chatterbait tips and tricks with y'all. Um, but first off, thanks to everybody that follows along with the channel. I'm still growing pretty good. And if you're new to the channel, maybe scroll down through the videos and uh, if you like what you see, click that subscribe button. I got a lot of stuff on there. A lot more coming. Uh, I got some news yesterday about some stuff that's going to happen next year. Pretty big tournament stuff, guys. I'm real excited about it. Um, anyways, enough about that stuff. It's supposed to be about chatterbait, so let's get into it. First off, I'm going to start off by saying my my favorite time for chatterbait fishing is when the water temp is like 65 to 55. You can catch them outside of that realm. You can catch them all summer long on chatterbait. But um, that's just my personal favorite time. Um, I'm going to start off here with a little bait. It's called a thumper jig. CYC Lures makes these. And I will put the link down in the description for CYC Lures and a discount code. If you guys want to go check them out this one is unique to the bladed jigs from all of them that I've tried um, most of them will just reel back unless you impart some action with the rod to make them do stuff this will do erratic action it start jumping around like crazy if you pick up your reel speed um, I haven't seen any other bladed jig act like this one and I'll try to put a little clip showing some of that. If not, there's a couple videos from uh, earlier this spring. I had some uh, good action on this uh, thumper jig here. Anyways, this one here, I have a zoom split tail spinnerbait trailer on there. Now the reason for that was I was kind of burning this bait to get that erratic action but with that streamlined trailer your bait still stays down in the water column a little bit. Um, if you had a more bulky trailer on there um, it doesn't do that. We'll get to that here in a little bit. So anyway, CYC Thumper Jig. This also is a CYC Thumper Jig that I've caught a, I caught so many fish on it I had to put a different skirt on here. But uh, one thing to remember, well this trailer here is a Lake Fork Magic Shad. You can see that has some great action on it. And one thing to always remember when you're putting your trailer on there, you want to, it's just like a jig, you want to cut your skirt so it doesn't impede the action of your trailer. Because the action of your trailer can mean all the difference in the world um, some days on getting bites. So always remember to keep that skirt cut down so your trailer can do its thing. Now I bet some of you haven't tried this. This is kind of along the lines of a scrounger head. But it's just a bladed jig head. No skirt on it. And I put a swim bait on there. Now, re you're probably wondering why I got the swim bait upside down. Well I'm going to tell you. When that water comes over this blade, you know it's rocking back and forth, moving a bunch of water. It makes it like a hydrodynamic thing there where you lose your tail kick if you have that swim bait on normal way. So with it upside down it still gets a lot of good tail kick. So you might try that. Flip your swim bait around and then see what the action looks like on that boot tail after you do that. Now this one here is really a good little tip for clear water situations uh, or if you got a lot of bluegill forage in your uh, waters you're fishing or pond or whatever. As you can tell that's like a green pumpkin with a little bit of blue in it. This is a menace grub, and I got it on there sideways. 
Now if that's not a bluegill profile, I don't know what is. Um, and again, you can see I got the skirt cut down to where it, the skirt is almost to where the tail part starts kicking so it doesn't lose any action. That there's a CYC lures as well. It's got a nice powder coated black blade on it. Now this one here, you've all heard of the jackhammer. I got all sorts of chatter baits, so bladed jigs. I pulled this one out just to show you because the bottom of it is light collared and the top of it is dark. And I tried to match my trailer up just like that. So that's something to consider when you're picking your trailer try to match your trailer up pretty good because sometimes that will make a big difference as well you always got to try different things and you know let the fish tell you what they want on that particular day but uh, weather normally dictates most of the time but anyways that's just another option um, but you can come up with all kinds of trailer ideas, whatever your mind wants to come up with and try. I would say put it on there and try it because you never know. It may be something that's dynamite in the water that you're fishing, your pond or lake. Now I've got this here. This is a bandito bug. With the profile on that. These are the type baits. This. Stinking airplanes flying around out here. Or a rage crawl. One second, guys. Apologize for that. Either one of these baits right here or something along these lines is going to do the opposite of that double tailed or that uh, split tailed spinner bait trailer. These are going to lift your bait in the water column. So you're going to be able to roll, slow roll it, so to speak. Um, so if you want it to rise up, you need some that has got a little more resistance in the water. And then this profile, this creature bait profile, if you're wanting to skip docks and stuff, this is an awesome, awesome one to put on there. And skipping docks with the chatterbait is a dynamite way to catch a lot of fish and some big ones. So, uh, it's got a lot more surface on it you know so it like skips up under like a stone so anyways that right there um, is one of the ones that I like to use if I'm skipping docks I hope some of you guys picked up a tip or trick there that maybe you haven't tried before in your pond or uh, lake that you're fishing and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and as always, thanks for stopping by, and until next time, tight lines, guys.